What's going on guys? Nikki here with Bass Fanatic 432 and today I want to talk about my top three ways to store soft plastics for fishing. You guys don't want to miss this so stay tuned. Alright guys, first I want to say a very, very happy St. Patrick's Day to you guys. I hope everybody's enjoying their day, enjoying their weekend. Today I want to talk about my top three ways of storing plastics. Now I know this is a big thing with fishermen. Uh, it's a big thing with me. Uh, I went through a lot of ways um, to store my soft plastics. Uh, I went through a lot of ways, you know, I've only been doing this a, a short time, but through my short time, um, I've gained a lot of knowledge. I learned about a lot of different things from you guys, from watching your videos, or from different people from friends or other fishermen, watching how they do certain things. Um, that's how we all learn. I'm learning as I go along, just like you guys. But if I gain some things along the way, some tips, some helpful knowledge, i definitely like to share that and convey that to you guys, because I know you guys would appreciate it, because I know I appreciate it when I I learn from you when I watch your videos or I watch different things. So that's all I'm trying to do uh, here today is just share some of the things that I gained, some of the knowledge, uh, and, and you might have a different way that you do it and that works for you. Everybody has a different way that works for them. It's three ways that works for me. All of my tips, anything that, that I give out to you guys or share with you guys is always going to be the cheapest, easiest possible most helpful way that I can get it out to you guys uh, and give you as many tips as I possibly can. All right. So one of the ways that I first started out, when I first started out fishing, that I started storing my plastics was this right here in a box. Now, they, since then, they've come out with boxes, you know, from Plano or uh, Bass Mafia or whatever, that uh, they're, they're waterproof and they're meant to hold the you know, your soft plastics or worms and, and they won't warp or, or, or soften up or cause any damage to your lures uh, over time because that's what they're meant for. They're coming out more and more stuff. The fishing industry just keeps piling on more and more crazy things, but more and more useful things every year or even more than that, every month, every week, every, you know, different things they come out with all the time. Everything's constantly changing. Everything's upgrading. Everything's getting better. Things get better. So when I first started out, I had just a you know a regular box that stored my uh, soft plastics in it and I would just you know I would, it wasn't meant for the soft plastics but I would put soft plastics in it and then over time you know of course things would warp and things got messed up and then I moved to uh, a box right here and this box came already uh, it was a Plano box this is a Plano box and it came with the baits and lore, uh, the baits the soft plastics that are in it um, it came with it already and then I started when I once it emptied I would start adding my own touches to it my own kind of soft plastics uh, baits or whatever in there as well and I would add on as more and more time ago and I had this box for about a couple of years and let me just show you what's how it was so this is how I have it here as you guys can see here um, I don't want to turn it all over and have it all fall but as you guys can see how this is warping and how everything see up here in the corner how everything's melted um, everything's kind of stuck together um, over here we got some definite uh, warping over here as well we have some warping going on here and this is what it looks like uh, so that didn't work out very well but uh, but anyway getting back to this so this 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 didn't work out for me this is how I first started storing them I just I don't recommend doing it like that so this didn't work for me so I moved on to something else Okay, guys, so I uh, just took the camera to show you this to be the easiest way, but uh, but this is the very first um, way, this is my number one way that I like to store my soft plastics, and this main one here, this is what I'm going to keep for, like, the seasonal things, you know, winter baits, I'll put winter up, you know, summer baits, put summer up, and I'll also display, obviously, my sponsor's baits, Lucky Tackle Box, Z Baits, Hooked and Tagged, um, you know, I'll store, all my open up my Lucky Tackle Box, and whatever that month Lucky Tackle Box is, maybe I'll hang those baits up, you know, as well, so this is, like, my main board, and I just needed to have something up here quick, guys, you know, so that I can film, uh, be able to film videos for you, like I said, this whole room uh, is a mess right now, I have everything all over the place so as you guys can see here where I'm filming here right here guys these this is all boxes boxes on top of boxes some open some not baits lures boxes I haven't even opened yet that I wanted to do on camera for you guys over the place so um here you know I have some rage tails some kvd plastics uh some biwa uh some riot baits um some vnm 
I so think these are all stuff that came in my Lucky Tackle Box, um, a live Target, Sunfish, again, Lucky Tackle Box stuff. Uh, this came, I forgot where I got that from, but uh, another thing that came from my Lucky Tackle Box um, that came from a subscriber. Um, then I have some ice fishing stuff here I never got to go to yet because um, the weather's been bipolar. Um, uh, Z Bait sent me this. Um, it's the police thin blue line. This means a lot to me. Um, then here I have my sponsors bait stored. I have I can't show you some of that. That's samples from Z Baits. I don't want to show you that yet until they're ready. Um, but I got all kinds of baits from my, my some of my favorite worms from Z Baits. They send me these. Um, love that stuff. Uh, then over here I have the mud puppies again. Some of the best baits out on the market. And then behind here I have Tom's baits from Hooked and Tagged. Um, um, out of that, so I have to get some more. But I got my Hooked and Tagged baits. Here I have some of uh, uh, Yamamoto baits. These are the Zacos. Some of the best trailer baits. Uh so this is the first way, guys, that I like to store my plastics and baits as well as you guys can see. As this gets low, then I can fill this up uh, from my storage bins. That brings me to the second way that I like to store my plastics. Moving on. Well, come on, don't just stay there. Guys, this is my second way, my top number two way to, that I like to store my plastics. Uh, these you can get anywhere. Uh, you can go to Walmart. They were really, really cheap at Walmart. I actually only think they were $2, like $2 for each thing. And they come in so many different sizes. Uh, like you see here, they click on like that, they open up, you pop it off, um, and you can do whatever you want in here. Um, now, I, I stored it in this one, I stored it this way to show you that you guys can do it um, width-wise this way or this way. Um, in my other one, I stored it lengthwise as well. You can do either or, stock them up. There's so much room in there, guys, as you can tell. Um, I have them organized by color i have them organized by uh bait type you know the company name and i have them organized by the bait type you know my creature baits as you guys can see these this is my less the box that has the least amount of baits in it because i'm um, really not into uh craws or creature kind of baits the only craws i use are really on the backs of my jig tra uh, jigs is trailer baits a little bit of the creature baits in it um like i said you guys you've seen all those boxes that i have stocked up downstairs um, that has a lot of soft plastics in there. Like I said, those are some of the boxes that I've done for you guys, unboxings. Uh, and some of them are, the most of them are unboxings that I need to do for you guys. That's why I haven't taken any of that stuff and put it in here yet. I'm waiting to do the unboxings for you guys and do some giveaways because a lot of that's for giveaways for you guys. I have them uh, stored in here, like I said, by uh, their name. Like this one's all Big Bites Baits. This one's Net Baits. This is their Bee Bug here. Uh, I have a uh, V&M, V&M Crazy Craw, um, then I have a bunch of Havoc um, Craw Fatties here, and then I have um, the Havoc Pit Bosses here, um, you know, different colors and everything. Um, and then I only have one bag back here of the Buddha Baits because that's all I have. Uh, this is the Buddha Bait Ultimate Fighting Craw in the June Bug color, so I got that in the back. A wide beaver. So then like a white pearl color, white trash, they call it white trash. That's what I have in this one. Like I said, they snap off like this. The handles snap so, so nice. They're kept in there nice. It's nice, you know, nice and clean. Um, it's clear. Uh, if you want to put on a uh, label, you can do that. But I can just see in here, whatever I want, I can grab it, pull it out. Box is my trailers, all my trailer baits. Then I have flukes here. And then I have swim baits because I don't use rarely any swim baits, so I only have a couple bags. And then my flukes, I use them as trailers as well anyway. So it's basically a whole big trailer box. Then I organize them not only by, uh, by names or uh, types of the baits, but I organize them. Um, if some is finesse, they'll be in the, the, the front row going back to um, regular uh, trailer baits in the back. So here I have hoax fish. This came with my Lucky Tackle box. Also, Cabin Creek came in my Lucky Tackle box again. These are all finesse in the front. It goes into uh, by the pack of chunks, another great trailer. Neon chunk. And then I turn it around this way. Here I have my flukes. I have my zoom. Uh, this is the salt, uh, salty super fluke, smoking shad. And then it goes into, I got these out of my Lucky Tackle box. This is the Gobi Splash. Um, these are um, two baits. 
Then over here on this side, that's where I have the swim bait. Um, this is Yum uh, Swarms. Never used them yet. Have, um, I got some Culprit. These are really good. The Vibe Shad, 4.5 inch. And then it goes into some power baits. I like to use the Rib Snake. Uh, this box. And then this one, this is all my worms. This is the biggest box um, pack full that I have, and I haven't even begun to fill it yet because in those boxes I showed you again, I have a lot of uh, worms and soft plastic stuff, especially uh, finesse stuff because I do, you know, I mainly fish uh, ponds and small lakes and areas and whatnot. So, so in the front here, uh, I have my zooms, um, my zoom finesse worms. This one's Africa Special goes into swamp crawler or no these are the Z Z3 trick worm this is a bull bluegill again another nice natural color it goes into the finesse TRDs I love the TRDs I love them for Ned rigging I do a lot of Ned rigging um, and it goes back into here into robo worms I love robo worms and some cabin creek again came in my lucky tackle box so that's all that's my all my worm box so so that's how I have these three boxes. That's how I have them organized. But these work so good, guys. This is like my favorite way uh, after using the pegboard. And then this is my next way. You know, when my pegboard gets low, then I come in here and I grab what I need to fill up the pegboard. And then I grab what I need from there to throw in my tackle box to grab. Or you, this is perfectly deep enough, wide enough um, to hold a lot of stuff. And this will fit nice in your boat, I'm sure. Like I said, I'm not a boat fisherman or a pond fisherman. So this is basically um, stocks up downstairs in my um, tackle room or put it in my car or whatever. My last but certainly not least way and number three to store my soft plastics is right here in a bag. Boxes of black bags for like a dollar, uh, again at Walmart. Very cheap, but it has this plastic, this part right here, um, so you, it zips shut, um, so everything's kept really nice in here. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this. A lot of them like it, a lot of them don't. A lot of them think, um, again, uh, that it's very time consuming. They have to open the bag up, go in there, search for what they want, but um, I really enjoy it. Now, what I use this for, day bag. This is basically like my day bag. Uh, if I know I'm fishing a certain area, I know I'm fishing a certain pond or lake or whatever, and there's certain baits, I'll grab uh, s something from each of those bins, you know, something from the sw uh, swim bait, something from the fluke section, you know, something from uh, the, the Senko section with my worms, and maybe a little bit of finesse worms from that box. I'll grab a little bit, I'll mix it all together, and I'll just throw it into this bag right here. Uh, it's clear. I can look in there. I can see what I want. I can grab that bag out that has everything in there nice and neat placed. I know what color. I know the size. I know the name. I know what I'm using, what I want. Uh, again, you can label this. It has a spot here. You could put a piece of tape on there. Use a Sharpie. So this is the third way that I like to store my soft plastics. Again, guys, uh, these are just my ways, but, uh, but these are the ways that work for me. And I thought I'd throw out a video for you guys just so if you can get any tips or any help uh, from how I store my plastics, then that's great. I'm, I'm glad I can help you guys in any way. So, and also to remind you guys that I'm doing that Lucky Tackle Box giveaway. Uh, if you check my last video where we did the unboxing, don't forget, get into that, uh, check out that video and um, see about the rules for entering all comments guys let me know the, your top ways that you like to store your soft plastics or your baits or whatnot um, i enjoy reading your comments so much and um, as always guys thanks for joining me have a happy saint patrick's day and i'll catch you guys next time